What's up guys, this is Memes are tuning in, and we're going to be going over text insertion and formatting today. And so what that means is basically we're going to go over the basics on how to add text and change text inside the game when it comes to item icons. And the conversations that you see in the game and how to make your own custom events along with the backgrounds. So a little bit of basic inventing in there too while we're at it. And we're also going to go over um, how um, certain patches can help get rid of the new game intro cutscene that you see in the beginning so that way you know you can free up your rom because usually those are not are not patch unpatchable you can't take them out if you want them to in the start event tab right here of the f first chapter and so i'm gonna go put on some music here i put a rap playlist together because i i like i love like um, old school rap mainly and stuff from like the 80s when um nwa and um people like warren g and two short were around and so the first song is going to be Regulate by Warren G featuring Nate Dogg. Right here. Now it's working. Okay, that'll be in the background for a while we talk. Anyways, so as I was saying, we're gonna have um this weapon right here Sieglin, which is i think erica's personal sword in the game and so usually this is the text limit right here that main character so maybe about let's see about six six sentences six words that are six characters each with spaces in between and so that's a good way to go by i mean the description is pretty big but no you're not going to bank on um two lines of dialogue usually just like about the max that it can push and you have to kind of use acronyms in your in your um sentences so that way you can actually fit and also uppercase letters capitalized char characters also take up more space than lowercase characters so you got to keep that in account so if you're gonna make like one that just has all like if you make the same sentence but all of them are capitalized then it will not work it will just um bug out the rom and bug out your item description when you actually want to see it inside the game and so first of all so that's one of the things to go over now is that now that we went over item icons i want to, learn to teach you guys what patches are going to be needed to find it so it's pretty easy go to patch and we're going to wait for that to open up and when your patch opens up you're going to want to type into the um, search feature it's in the upper left hand corner of the thing and it's going to um basically bring up the new game text you just got to type it in here and watch so let me get Brad Jagged over here. You're gonna type in new game, this new game, and you're gonna get a couple options right here. So to make it a bit more um, concise and get the two that we actually want to put in, you're gonna put toggle new game, and boom, you got three options. So we're not gonna mess with um, we're gonna mess with all these. So you're gonna silence new game music, so that way you know it won't interfere with your cutscene. And this is an important thing to listen to here is that we're gonna put new game skip on right here toggle new game intro cutscene and we're gonna have toggle new game text as skip two these are much mutually exclusive so if one both of them have the same type of skip it will not work in the game and instead it will just um play no matter what so with these being mutually exclusive you want to um you want to make sure that they're on they're both different so that way it actually works in the game and that's how you can set up your rom anyways next to the next subject matter we're gonna go over some basic eventing and so when it comes to basic eventing this is how we're gonna do it so you see a lot of jumble and stuff right here and it's kind of hard to like wrap your head around this when you first see it and when you're making your first ROM but we're gonna click on call event because this basically means is that please execute the event then um, set at this part which is 9 e e c v c and this is actually the opening cutscene with um king fado and erica and ephraim as they go their separate ways in the game and actually um i think this is the one yeah Walter injures seth in this cutscene too so you know you can die um mess around with this so if you want to make your own beginner cutscene but to keep things simple and short in this episode we're gonna um just delete it all together it's always good to um, get a notepad or have something, some documentation, because maybe you want to use this event at a later date for some free, um, free space in your ROM. And it's always good to make sure you know where things are in your ROM. There's a lot of documentation on FE Universe, so go there if you tend to find yourself to forget all this stuff. So right here, if tutorial branch event, 
Again, if it was a tutorial, you'll have an event, and that's on easy mode. So we're gonna delete that too. Check if you're in easy mode, we're gonna delete that. And delete that. Assembler function, I, I don't know what this is, is ASM stuff, but I'm assuming it does something with the story, so I usually delete it. Label condition ID, delete, delete. Right here, I'm gonna keep one, keep this one. Load units and move. Use for um, new units. So what this does is basically, is that it allows you to have, you know, it basically allows your units to be um, put onto the field, onto the actual map in the unit placer. And so you want to always keep that so your game actually starts running um, correctly. And we're going to cover that in our, um, how units work and unit overview, how to change animations episode that will probably come out in a couple of weeks. And so right here, set current HP with the Seth to um, 13. We're going to get rid of that because I think our prologue is just going to be Kazuya only. And right here, for frame seconds, Kazuya is highlighted. So this is the highlighted feature you see in um, FE Builder and in FE Games where they kind of like there's a little box around them. This is what you're going to use. That's I'll, I'm going to keep that in for now so I can show you guys when we actually boot up the ROM to see our thing. Boom. Conversation. It's a lot like you, like you probably some of you guys might know what the serif is or display. There's a lot of commands, and there's a source text tab if you're in it because this is FE Builder's view. It's a simplified view, but if we go to the source text tab, it's a it's pretty complicated as you can see. I have all these um, blue commands, but I'm gonna show you how to make it use this easier version to get the dialogue you want in your game. So I'm gonna delete all this one, all the stuff, all this extra junk, and we're just gonna have these two. Or we're gonna delete everything. So, how to make your own conversations in the game. First of all, you're going to double click on this empty space. And there's five. There's about six different commands you can do. Text, serif, character, character erase, move character, and jump. So jump, choose a character that's in one of these slots. And then they'll jump. Like Kind of like do a little like um, they're going to be startled. And each of these slots correspond to where you put your character. So let's generate a character. Let's make Kazuya right here. So Kazuya is at right middle, or 000C for um, for the assembly language. So if I'm put make him jump, then it should say it right there, Kazuya. But for some units that don't have a name, like um, cut only cutscene only portraits, they usually don't have a name because they're not tied to a character slot. There won't be nothing. So you got to make sure you remember where you put them sometimes. So we're gonna make him jump. Oh, my bad. I erased him. So we're gonna redo that. So when you did, when I what I did there was I pressed change instead of new addition. So it changed this slot that I already put in instead of making a new addition. So we're gonna make a new addition. Boom! He was gonna jump into the thing. And so now we can actually start making text. So you gotta make sure you always delete it. It's like a typewriter. You know, it's gonna go back to its original state. And we're just gonna make him say, "What a wonderful day! Wonderful day!" And we're going to add that command there. The A command means press the A button to continue. And so basically, it's um telling the game to press the A button, that the player needs to press the A button to continue the text. But if we're going to make a two-part sentence, it's always recommended to use this, which is like a paragraph break in, um, you know, like what Word does. So it's saying, what a wonderful day, break, go on to the next sentence, and we're going to have him say afterwards, I hope nothing bad happens. Great tier of writing here, I guess. <laughs> nothing bad happens. And we're gonna put the A there. And so in the game, you're gonna see it once I boot up the ROM, but it's gonna play this A, then what's gonna do afterwards is that it's gonna go on to the next event, which is this conversation event right here. And so this, this event in particular is the dialogue with background event, which is okay. I mean, I can't complain too much about it. And boom, we got the actual event editor selection right here. And so what we're going to be doing for this tutorial is all in the text. All these ones, I usually find myself not using a lot of it. But the biggest one I use is display text at the bottom at, by CG scene for when I use CGs in my thing. And I want to make like a text box instead of the regular system message that everyone's used to use back in the old days. Display location text. It displays a little box. We're going to actually put that one in. Dialogue conversation text and dialogue conversation with background. And so just to go there, we're gonna put a um, location text box right here. And so the text, it can be anything, but I'm just gonna be very, I'll choose this one, got. 
and then we actually choose on the screen so you get this little thing you get this little grid to put it on and we're going to choose right here to put it down so you're, you're, boom and I didn't put it in <sighs> it's okay but it's a brown box too so we're going to go back to get got and in the game you're going to see it in the upper left hand corner right there that it's going to say got it's going to pop up for a moment we're going to delete these events and we're going to go back to the event editor and we're going to go to text and we're going to use this one so this is good if you change music in because it doesn't bring up this one and to set the background for the scene we're going to put right here change the background it's underneath the background tab so choose one of these we'll just choose that for generic and let's say you want to change dialogue to make conversation this is the simple way to do it. There's a, um, a bit more um, better way to do it, but we're not going to go over that this basic text editing episode. And that's going to be right here. It says display text box. That's like a green text box system message. You know, that's used a lot in FE environment 7. Not so much here. And you can use it when you make choices in the game. But we're going to go over how to make music change in the scene. So underneath music's tab, you're going to see change background there's a lot of them but the one you're going to be using for this tutorial is change background music to song so let's say we're going to change it to a um from a happy theme to something like you know sinister and so we're just going to make it really simple nothing too crazy oh it's still the same location text but again we're going to make it extremely simple just for it to serve our purposes for now so what the game does is now is that it's going to read that, then it's going to reload the portrait. So if you're doing the simple way, you got to, you know, make sure you re make sure the portrait is all in the same place. So we're going to take this random, um, all this text, over. we're just going to delete it and use this slot. This is what I usually do, but I always make sure I keep track of slots and the such when I make my um, ROMs. So we got to make sure Kazuya is in the right middle so it actually loads in the same spot and it doesn't look weird. It's pretty good, I say. It's a pretty good method, but this is a better method. Now I'll probably teach that in my advanced edit, advanced eventing tutorial. So we're gonna make them say, "Oh no, bandits!" Then it's gonna do that, and then the music's gonna play, and then we have this event right here that we can also make. And this is usually Seth, but we're gonna. It's Ka it's my friend Kaido's portrait right now. For the moment, now we're gonna have. I'm gonna have him say, "Hey, help me with these bandits, bro." And so, what's gonna happen is that the music now has changed, and so that's gonna be Kaito, and he's gonna say, "Sure, I'll help." And so, what we see here is we basically did a full cutscene right now it's gonna roll it's gonna have the eventing box and the only thing we forgot is to make beginning music to go with it so again music's tab change background music to song and then you got to choose it from here the sound table and so you have the regular song table right here and then down here you got sound effects like soft steps and you also have um like um like step foot foot sounds footstep sounds and we're gonna make the first song distant roads for the heck of it because it fits the situation so i'm gonna turn off this music for now and then we're gonna go boot up the actual rom to see if our eventing works i'm gonna get rid of all these tutorial events these call events because we don't need them right now and when we go actually play the game it's gonna work so the whole event is gonna play out flawlessly you're going to be able to press A when you want to. And you can use this with some pretty good effects. Especially with the jump feature. And moving characters. But this is just a really basic way of getting your dialogue. And making simple cutscenes here. And so um, maybe next episode. We'll go into more a um, in-depth um, way of um, how to make really cool cutscenes. And how to really mess with that type of stuff. And so now the emulator has been booted up. Let me drag it over here. But yeah. So this is a good way to um, begin eventing. Again, it's a lot of trial and error. Sometimes you, you mess up, you make some typos. So we're gonna set up here. Let's 
probably not. I'm gonna turn it up a bit so y'all can hear it. But no, okay. The music. So you're gonna see here, it skips that intro, the one where it says that one, the opening cutscene. But the only thing that we left was the continent of Mangbo Park. And so we're gonna take that out right now because I don't want that to get here to mess up our team because we just want to go straight to the start event. So I think you would just, I mean, really, it's all about just typing it in. Continent. Um, skip the event using the opening world map right here. This is what you want to just write. It's going to skip that world map part so it won't appear in the game. And we're going to go straight into our events. So the Fire Emblem Patcher, a lot of it is just, you just you can just scroll through it. But what I like to do with my ROMs, because sometimes you patch events that don't work together and then you lose a ROM because the ROM won't work no more. And you have to, you don't know which one is it. So I like to always write a, a list of my, of all the um, different patches and FP Builder that I'm using for a certain ROM. So we're going to restart it. So, you know, opening chapter title screen. And there, it works. So it says, got in the corner, as you can see. And he jumps and says, what a wonderful day. I hope nothing bad happens. Changes, background. Oh no, bandit. See where we got our first typo. And I forgot about it. And so what happened was, that what happened there, that kind of made it go back out, was that the, if you can see it here on my debug screen, it says house event so if it's a house event it's going to go back to the main screen and it won't just do a straight change there if it shows back to the map so when you actually do your thing make sure that you're not using this just this one but not, don't make it a house event because that was mainly for the when um, Seth gives Erica the rapier in the game music change and the portraits reloaded and it says hey help me with these bandits bro sure I'll help and this is what I want, I want to show you. As you can see, the whole screen glitched out because we forgot one important command. And that important command is going to be the erase background command. So when you make it physical background right here, this one already has it built in. But if you make it like this, you have to erase it afterwards so it doesn't glitch out the screen. You're going to find that underneath the background tab of the event editor and you're going to press erase the background clean. And that should fix your problem. So let's do it again. And again, I deleted the enemy um, enemy call event where they actually spawned on the map. So that's why it was also basically map finish. But we'll be doing that in our next episode on unit placement. But what I really want to know is your opinion. Do you want a music insertion episode or a unit placer episode? Because I can do either or both. And it seems, I mean, music's a lot of fun, but I feel like unit placement is also a lot important. So it just really depends on what you guys want. So we're gonna skip all okay so we're gonna just go all through all this and see boom works screen's not glitched out of course it doesn't have a weapon but we'll go over that next episode thanks for tuning in today guys this has been memes are signing off